good. How about this one? This one seems to work pretty good. Let's try this one. <coughs> uh, <coughs> I'm sorry. I am uh, I'm glad to be with you here uh, this evening um, for a few minutes anyway. As you can see, we're not broadcasting from Mythos Games this evening. Um, I'm here in my office. Um, um, hello, Chief Walking Turtle. Welcome. Glad to see you uh, here with us uh, this evening. <coughs> um, I'm on my own here for, uh, for the time being. Dragon Knight, hello. Welcome. Glad you're with us. Um, I first of all uh, want to apologize to everyone <coughs> that we were not here um, last week. Um, uh, for our uh, usual broadcast. Um, um, deja vu, welcome. Glad you're here with us. Um, again, as I was saying, I, I apologize for not um, being here um, last uh, week. Laura and I were not here last week. Byron, good to have you with us. Um, um, <clears throat> a week ago, Tuesday, last Tuesday, we could go Tuesday. Um, uh, we've actually gotten, um, uh, actually last uh, Monday, we, um, uh, and over the, over the previous weekend, we'd gotten word that uh, my um, mother, um, uh, Joan Hickman, um, <clears throat> my mother um, was, uh, had been in failing health for some time, um, but had taken a, a very bad turn um, last weekend. And um, um, Tuesday, uh, we, we in fact had, were all set to uh, leave um, our home here and travel down to our, my, uh, my parents both had their home in uh, St. George, Utah. And so I, <clears throat> both of us Tuesday morning were uh, preparing to leave um, to uh, rush down. Uh, my sister was um, flying up. My sister uh, Carrie was flying up from uh, uh, Phoenix area. Um, my sister Kim was in uh, uh, already, uh, was, they live in St. George and have been caring for my parents for some time. <clears throat> anyway, Tuesday morning as we were um, preparing to, uh, as we were preparing to uh, drive down, um, I, I got word from my father um, that my mother had passed away. Um, um, so we drove down Tuesday and um, we've um, we've been down there ever since dealing with her passing um, uh, the uh, funeral was held <coughs> on uh, Saturday uh, early in the morning and um, uh, thank you chief walking turtle um, I appreciate that um, um, and uh, the, uh, the the internment was uh, interment, excuse me, um, uh, was held on uh, on uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, <clears throat> it's it's odd the things I think that one learns. I, I was I'd gone through most of my life uh, not knowing that there that uh, internment with a second N. Um, it means um, being imprisoned. Um, interment is actually how it's, uh, the word's pronounced um, for the act of burial. Um, <clears throat> thank you, Deja Vu. Um, uh, I, I, my mother was um, quite a force uh, in, uh, in everything that she did. Um, she uh, uh, she uh, met my father in uh, their little town in southern Utah of uh, Beaver, Utah. 
My mother was born there um, to a farmer, my grandfather, uh, Arnold Parkinson. And um, my grandfather, Arnold Parkinson, was uh, actually served in World War I. Um, he was in an artillery uh, battalion and uh, uh, went to France and came home from France to uh, to be the, a farmer and uh, in that little little community. Um, my mother was uh, actually born on the kitchen table of that uh, my uh, uh, of their home there. Um, <coughs> my uh, uh, she uh, her high school sweetheart was my dad. And uh, they married very young. He, and, um, I think he was, uh, I think he was 20 at the time. And, and I think my grandmother actually had to sign the marriage certificate to make it legal um, at that time. Um, I was born when my mother was 20. So it was always easy to remember her age. But um, she um, she uh, always had a great interest in history and and reading and in serving. Um, she certainly raised me to be inquisitive. Um, uh, and uh, uh, was always uh, was always there to uh, support me. Um, in fact, <clears throat> if, if you don't mind it, uh, um, um, I, my sisters and I all uh, spoke at the funeral, and uh, one of <coughs> excuse me, one of my um, one of my memories was uh, of my mother taking care of me. Um, uh, I, I had uh, um, when I was in elementary school. Um, at Marlon Hills Elementary in um, Ogden, Utah. My, um, uh, uh, I was I was actually being bullied. I was being bullied by a little red-haired, uh, by a red-haired kid in my class. Red hair, freckle face. I mean, it, he was. If you were going to draw a bully, this was the typical bully, and he was always pushing me around and, and telling me he was going to fight me and he was going to beat me up. And my father, um, being my dad, um, his response to this was to buy my brother and I boxing gloves and to teach us how to fight. I, I didn't want to fight. I, I was not a fighting kind of a kid. Uh, uh, I had a tendency to, uh, to cry rather than <laughs> to... Uh, get uh, angry or actually I would cry when I got angry anyway um, uh, finally one day this kid uh, this this red-headed bully um, uh, caught me uh, after school and I and there was no way I could get out of it there's no way I could could you know um, uh, avoid it um, and it happened to be, I was on my way to a uh, youth church activity. The primary uh, class was being held on Tuesdays back in those days. And so I had walked from <coughs> the school and I was on the church lawn when he caught up with me. Um, and I remembered what my father taught me. And I, I, I balled up my little fists and 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 took a fighting stance and, and uh, as it turned out the kid that i was so afraid of had no idea actually how to fight with his fists and i proceeded to just badly bloody the kid's nose i i mean i really beat this kid up um <clears throat> but after the adrenaline had all worn off um Suddenly, you know, all of it came crashing down on me. Um, what I had done and all of the emotion of what I had done and 
and uh, and that's how my mother found me um, at the church, all red faced and and sobbing. But my mother was very wise, and she was very kind, and took me into a bathroom so that nobody else would, you know, I wouldn't be more embarrassed than I was. And she proceeded to wet down a uh, paper towel and put it on the back of my neck and uh, had me splash some cold water on my face and, and get me calmed down. And, uh, and uh, told me it was okay, it was all right, and that I was all right. And wouldn't it be wonderful to tell my dad how brave I had been that uh, and, and, and in, in this fight. Well, I didn't feel brave, but she did make me feel better. And that was my mother. She always loved to make us feel better. Um, <clears throat> and she did, she, she did have my back. She always had my back and she always had all of our backs actually. Um, she was very determined. She loved holidays. Um, uh, I think one of her favorite sayings was, um, anything worth doing is worth overdoing. Um, and she would start, to, she'd start preparing, um, for holidays well ahead of anybody else, um, especially Thanksgiving and, uh, and Christmas time. Uh, in fact, uh, her house at Christmas time was magical. She, she had multiple trees in the house, all decorated up and, and, and festive. And she loved nothing better than to have the entire family together over the holidays. Um, she had gotten married early in life, uh, 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 just pretty much just out of high school. But um, uh, that didn't mean that she'd given up on learning. And in fact, when after all of her children were raised, um, uh, she went back to college and uh, got a, a general ed degree um, uh, with an emphasis in history, I believe it was. And then she was so proud to have, have finally gotten that diploma and walked and gotten that diploma. Um, she uh, um, loved to travel and was able to see many different parts of the world. Um, and and she was she was um, my uh, later on in life she was my bridge partner whenever we got together to play bridge. Um, my, Laura would uh, pair with my dad, and my dad was always very competitive and uh, especially in bridge. And uh, my mother and I would pair uh, together and just have a wonderful time. But um, uh, as, as the years, um, as, the, as time wore on, and as her illness, uh, her uh, Alzheimer's started to diminish her capacities, um, uh, bridge just quietly stopped. And we all did what we could to uh, to soldier on. Um, uh, I'm uh, I'm deeply grateful. I had uh, uh, both my parents uh, came up last Thanksgiving, flew up last Thanksgiving to our home here, and we got to enjoy the them being here. And um, we had, uh, and in fact, Thanksgiving evening we had. All of my grandchildren sit down at the table with them and um, ask them questions about their life, um, which we were gratefully recorded. Um, and uh, and then uh, just this last spring, um, my wife and I were able to visit, and um, it was one of her better times. And so I got to uh, sit with her and and tell stories about our past and reminisce and, and, um, uh, and it was a, actually, I look back on that and I looked down at it at the time as, as, uh, a lovely, a lovely goodbye. 
so on Tuesday morning, um, uh, my mother passed on. Um, she was, uh, <clears throat> um, she was actually, it was a beautiful, bright Tuesday morning, uh, outside, beautiful day. Um, she was, uh, yeah, in her own home, which is where she loved to be. Um, and it said that when she did pass, that's where she wanted to be. Um, and she was next to, uh, my dad, uh, her husband of, uh, and companion for over 70 years. Um, um, she was out, she was in no pain and very quietly, uh, left us. Um, which, uh, I think she would have wanted it that way, that she could not have had it better than that way. So, um, so that's why we weren't here, uh, last Wednesday. Uh, and, um, um, and now we're back. Um, we're back, uh, uh, at home and settling back into work. Um, but there is still this hole in our lives, uh, and there, it will always be felt there. But, um, I'm a man of faith. I think, you know, um, and, um, for me, it's, it, I, I am comforted in the knowledge, uh, and in my belief and in my faith that, uh, that my dear brother who, um, went ahead of all of us, um, was there to, um, welcome her home. And, uh, um, she was also the, uh, youngest of her family. And all of her family had passed on before her. And she often would say to me in the, over the last few years, how difficult it was to be the last. Um, how she wished she could call her sisters up and, and talk again. And uh, so I believe that too is a conversation that's been picked up again um, in, uh, in those eternities. So yeah, there will come a day when I'll get to see her again and she and my brother will and will be there for me. Um, and that's, that is also a great comfort. Um, <clears throat> um, and, you know, and, and, and thank you, uh, for your, for your understanding. Um, uh, uh, of, uh, you know, in, in part of what, of what we're going through here. Um, I was, uh, very, uh, I think you all may know, I was very torn by my thought, by my brother's passing. Um, it was, he was, he's two, he was two years younger than I and, and, uh, well, he's always been two years younger than I am. He was my little brother and uh, younger brother. And, um, his passing was uh, completely unexpected. It was very, very difficult, and still is difficult for me. Um, but um, but my mother's passing feels more like um, uh, a release um, and and uh, and a blessing that's hard on us, but uh, is good for her in so many ways. Um, and she lived a great, great life, uh, and left uh, a family that's very, very proud uh, to call her mom. And and uh, Nanny Joe or Jojo, as the grandkids and the great grandkids knew her. Um, so that's you know that's 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 where I've been, and that's that's been very difficult. Um. Oh, oh, I am, I'm sorry, um, DS Legends, I, I'm sorry to hear about your mom's passing as well. Um, and it's true that it, that it hits us, uh, unexpectedly and often usually, 
um, we we feel uh, overwhelmed by our grief by the simplest of things. Um, little things remind us. Um, my uh, my um, my wife uh, Laura really took good care of us during the during our time down there. Um, and one evening she set dinner out on the, uh, uh, on the little island in the kitchen um, in, at my dad's home. And I realized as she did that, that it looked exactly the way my mother would have put it out. Um, the same plates, the same dishes, the same, um, uh, the same foods. Um, and, that, and, and feeding people was very much in her love language. And so even though it was a, a little thing, it, it connected so hard for me. Um, uh, and it will be little things that will, um, that will remind us of things that we thought may have been less important at the time, but suddenly become overwhelming. Um, so, uh, so yes, we, uh, we, we will work our way through our grief and, um, um, uh, and the pain will diminish over time. It will never go away, but it will diminish over time. And we'll begin uh, to recall and remember fondly those wonderful good times that we had and the great uh, lessons and and we and in our minds we'll hear their voices again and and smile um, yes I'm, I'm sure that's absolutely true DS legends that um, uh, being primary care and then having that suddenly stop um, is uh, is a very jarring thing, and uh, um, to have one's life or what was one's life changed that quickly, and not just because of the leaving of the person, but also because of the dedication and service that you've been given over, giving over all of this time to suddenly um, be relieved of that is difficult too. My sister and her family very much took care of my mother. I'm very grateful for that. Um, my father, um, uh, over the last year, has pretty much spent all of his time caring for my mother. Um, but now she's gone. And um, where does that leave him? Um, not only is, is he alone uh, now, but um, he's also, as you have mentioned, really deprived of of all of that activity that um, uh, was meaningful so yeah it's 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 going to be a difficult time and it's and um, truthfully I've had a, a hard time getting back to work and I've got an awful lot of work to get done um, the uh, uh, um, the uh, Sky Raiders is uh, is is pressing on me uh, to get those books finished so that we can get those out to uh, to all of you. Um, we did open, by the way, the um, um, the uh, backer kit for um, uh, for everybody. So if you'd like to get back, uh, get into that. If you weren't able to get into it when we first ha had our Kickstarter, this is a good time to get into it again. Um, um, oh, thank you, Ricky Hall. Uh, well, thank you. And that's, those are very kind words. And in many ways you do, re uh, return the favor. It's nice to know that you good friends are out there and, um, leaves me very much with a hope of, um, of, uh, um, uh, of, of moving forward, and and uh, and it's the community I think that really helps um, uh, helps the healing. 
so thank you. Um, we are moving forward very much in, in, in Sky Raiders. It's uh, coming together very, very nicely. I'm very excited about the world and getting it into your hands. But more than that, also extremely excited um, um, uh, extremely excited about uh, some of the new developments that we're about to announce, actually, um, uh, regarding the app and what's going on online with the other side of, uh, of this kind of a very innovative system that we've been working on. Um, and those announcements should come over the next week or so. Um, um, we've also, uh, I've also been working uh, very closely, of course, with the void, and uh, that's becoming extremely exciting. Uh, we've got some fabulous new developments over there that I'll tell you about as soon as they're announced. Um, so those uh, are doing well, and um, we have, uh, of course, um, uh, Gen Con is coming up this year in Indianapolis. Um, we have a wonderful event there at Gen Con that, that we're doing this year, which is uh, the unboxing event on Thursday morning at 8 o'clock in the morning, um, uh, where um, we're going to, uh, everyone who's uh, coming to, everyone who has a ticket to this event will get a first edition copy of the new Dragonlance novel, Dragons of Deceit, um, plus uh, some really cool, um, commemorative um, uh, commemorative ob objects. I can't tell you about them right now, but they're they're really nice commemorative objects that's gonna, that will be part of uh, part of that celebration. Uh, and I'll be there. Margaret will be there. Um, uh, Laura will be there, and we're going to have a really great event there at the beginning of the convention to celebrate this new book. Um, that's. Uh, uh, I, I'm very excited about that, and that event actually has sold out completely. It's a it's a uh, 500 uh, 500 audience event, and and all the tickets are sold. Um, um, the uh, uh, I am I am looking forward to to the convention this year. Although I am going to have to come up with a new killer breakfast, and we are doing killer breakfast at that uh, convention also again this year. But it is going to be it's going to be good to see everybody there um, once again. It's been some time since we've been back, certainly because of COVID. Um, so I am I'm very much looking forward to that. So there's a lot there's a lot to look forward to, um, and there's a lot of good things to look back on too. Um, I had the best of mothers, and still do. Um, I do I do miss her. And I'll miss talking to her. Um, uh, the last words I remember her speaking to me were, it's so great to hear your voice. And uh, someday it'll be great to hear her voice again. Um, so um, I guess um, it's a little, it's, we're a little bit short uh, this evening. Um, but uh, I do need to go and uh, and uh, get together with Laura and have a have a quiet evening to try to recover from this last week. And um, next week we'll be back though back to the game, um, which I think is getting pretty close to its dramatic and hopefully not deadly conclusion. So um, thank you all for coming this evening and, and thank you for your good thoughts. Um, uh, thank and yes, thank you, Tolkien. I'm uh, I'm grateful for everybody who's joined me here this evening, and uh, um, and, and grateful for your um, support in what's been a very difficult time. So um, um, until next week. Um, Publish peace, and uh, we will uh, we will see you next Wednesday night for a happier game. Good night.